got uh, some uh, multiple failure system failures, uh, lightning strike, anti-system has failed. It's after 11 p.m. on the night of Monday, September 18, 2023. The weather in Massachusetts and New Hampshire is not ideal for flying, with thunderstorm cells rolling across the states. Boston Logan International Airport is currently enveloped in mist, with one and a half statute miles of visibility, light rain, and overcast cloud covering at 400 feet. One aircraft on descent into Boston is Delta Airlines Flight 2346, operated utilizing an Airbus A220-100. The aircraft has almost completed its two hour, 22 minute flight from Chicago O'Hare, which is where we last left off on the channel. If you haven't seen the previous video, maybe go watch it after this one. We're joining Boston Approach Control as Flight 2346 checks in as the aircraft descends through rain, lightning, and quite likely a few bumps. The crew are understandably keen to get below the weather they're currently flying through, so they've requested a continuation of their descent. They're also about to fly into an area of heavy precipitation, so they call approach to ask for a new heading. Delta 2346 needs a, a heading. Delta 2346, deviation left the course is approved, and Delta 2346. Approach Delta 2346, declare an emergency. We need to directly to the airport. Delta 2346, we'll have to clear direct walk to the airport to 7185,000. 7185,000, direct to the airport, Delta 2346. 2346, what's the nature of the emergency? Uh, we've got uh, some uh, multiple failure system failures, uh, lightning strike, anti system has failed. The pilots have reported that the aircraft has been struck by lightning. Normally, this isn't an issue. The US National Weather Service says that an aircraft in commercial service will on average be struck once or twice a year. Modern aircraft are designed to withstand strikes and dissipate the static charge caused by a strike in flight. Unfortunately for the crew today, the aircraft systems are reporting that the anti-ice systems aboard the aircraft have failed. Anti-ice systems are crucial when flying through precipitation to prevent ice buildup on the airframe, which has the potential to seriously impact the wing's ability to produce lift and the control surface's ability to maneuver the aircraft. The aircraft's quick reference handbook instructs pilots faced with a failed anti-ice system to leave or avoid icing conditions. That's not practical, so the crew have declared an emergency to get the aircraft on the ground as soon as possible. Two hours of fuel remaining and 85 souls on board for Delta 2346. And how many souls are on board? Sorry. 85. 85. 85. Boston Approach Control now begins queuing up approaching aircraft in anticipation of the arrival of Delta 2346. JetBlue 1152, Delta 2675, SkyWest 3823, operating on behalf of Delta Airlines, and United 352 have all received vectors towards Cape Cod Bay to delay their arrival. 2346, expect a left downwind. Delta 2346. Delta 2346, do you need anything else uh, that we can coordinate for you? Delta 2346, do you need anything else for now? Not currently, Delta 2346. Heading 210. Down to 4,000, heading 
757, a mile and a half, final runway 4 right, clear to land. Clear to land 4 right, Delta 2346. Logan Command, change over to 128.8. With an emergency aircraft inbound, Logan's fire and rescue services are standing by. The lead firefighting vehicle's call sign is Logan Command, and they've been instructed to tune their radio to the same tower frequency that Delta 2346 is on. Logan Command, tower, yep. Delta 2346, Logan Emergency Services are on this frequency if you need anything. Now that Delta 2346 is nearly on the ground, Boston Approach Control begins vectoring queued aircraft back towards the approach. Wind check. Wind 230 at 4. Stay 78, left turn on to 3 right, cross 4 left. Okay, left turn on the 3 right, cross 4 left, Delta 870. That's that one. Delta 870, x right down to Romeo. I got traffic a mile final emergency behind you. Okay, Romeo, Delta 870. Delta 2346, turn left there on to runway 33 right. Left on 33 right, Delta 2346. Uh, you want to just taxi to park or say intentions? We'll, we'll taxi to park. Thanks for the help, Delta 2346. Hey, Delta 2346, cross runway 4 left and turn left on November. 4 left on the, and left on November, Delta 2346. 2346 on November, cross runway 15 right taxi via Bravo Echo to park. Bravo Echo to park, Delta 2346. After liaising with company maintenance staff, the crew taxi the aircraft to the gate, where maintenance personnel inspect the wings, horizontal stabilizers and fuselage crown for damage. The airline reported that the aircraft had been removed from service as a precaution. The aircraft remained on the ground for 18 hours before departing on the return leg back to Chicago. Mm -hmm. 